What's up guys, welcome to Southern Hike, I'm Taylor. Today, we are talking about meal prep and what I'm bringing on the trip coming up. This is a four day, three night trip and I'm gonna run you through all the steps of each day and how I prepared for this one and what I picked and why I picked it and why I like each one of these. I'm gonna to try to link each one of these below if they're on Amazon or if where they're from, I'll explain it as we go through the video. So guys, as we all know as backpackers, one of the most important things on the trail is make sure we're getting the proper amount of calories. Some of us like to eat a lot, some of us like to eat a small amount. It just depends on your body and how you manage it and how your metab metabolism works. I for sure, this is definitely uh, no secret about me, like to eat so when i'm on trail i like to make sure i get plenty of calories and i like to eat and it's a great time to be able to do that because you're burning a ton of calories so for this trip we're doing over 10 miles a day for four days so it's hugely important that we're getting tons of calories in and so i'm really you're going to notice in this video that i eat a lot of sugar but it's one way to keep your calories up it's a lot of carbs yes but a lot of this stuff does have protein in it too, so we're able to get a little of everything and uh, still be able to manage to keep our calorie count up. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that all of this stuff will get eaten or I will not bring more food or change out a couple of things. I will mention that as we go along, but those are just kind of some of my disclaimers and to make sure that I'm on the same page with y'all because this will be a video where I will be eating this food and I'll make sure to link it when that video comes out, it's top secret what that trip's about. It's my 30th birthday. So me and Rachel are doing a really cool trip and we would love to share it with you guys. Probably be out on the channel, say mid to late August, but I will make sure to link it above when that trip is finally here. So guys, let's get started. Day number one, we'll be starting in the morning. So I'll probably go ahead and eat breakfast where we'll be staying at before. Probably, I guess, mid morning from there on to the rest of the day, we'll definitely need food. So each day I will be doing one of the liquid IVs I think every one of these, yeah, the passion fruit's pretty good. We've done the lemon one too, but this passion fruit's a pretty good one. So each day we'll at least do one bottle of these. It's a good way to keep your electrolytes up and it's got a little bit. I don't know if this one has sugar in it or not, to be honest with you. Yes, it does have sugar. So we'll start off with that, get on trail, and then we will do a Meals To Go. Um, we've talked about this in a lot of our videos. This is a Green Belly. They do like where you buy like a huge pack on their website, because it's definitely for through hikers. But if you go to Garage Grown Greer, I will link their website below. You can buy these as single meals if you do not need that many. These are done very well, They're like 600 calories, 665 for this one. This is the peanut apricot, one of my favorites but uh, this does really well for quick, easy, on the go lunch, especially on trail. Like I said, I've done it a lot of, for, a lot of our previous videos. So as that day goes on, on the first day, we'll have like, these are some Welch's like quick snacks, but I just need a, a boost of sugar real quick. These do really well on my waist belt pocket. I can just keep them in there, quickly grab some if I need a quick treat. And then this is our first time trying these. These are the Honey Stinger Waffles. Uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers use these and want to try them out, so we order some on Amazon. This will be linked below. So we got a bunch of these, I think like 16 total. We're not going to use them all on this trip, but we got different flavors and this one's going to be chocolate for the first day and we're going to be using it. So that's like an afternoon snack. It's supposed to be an organic snack um, and then it's just a quick another boost of sugar. And to go along with that, another snack is, as everybody knows, like Justin's uh, like squeezable peanut butter. I got different flavors. This is like the peanut butter and honey. And this will be another good afternoon snack. Easily put in the front pocket of my pack too and quickly grab. And I can just basically don't even have to worry about putting that in a bear bag. And go ahead and just have all that in front of my pack and grab it quickly if I need it. When we get to camp that night, of course, one of our favorites, Peak Refuel. This is one of their, I think it come out back in like May or June, their chicken coconut curry, their version of it. Have not tried this yet. Super excited about trying it out. And so this will be my first night's meal. And it is going to be a total of 850 calories if you throw a pack. I know a lot of people say that it's a lot of food in these. It is for sure. Um, I do like to eat myself, so it's not a big an issue, but I know that between the amount of calories that's in one and then the price pushes some people away, but man, we love peak refuel as we've talked about in a lot of videos. So I'm excited to try this one out the first night. So to go along with that every night, I won't spend a lot of time on this, is Nature's Bakery, their brownie. They make some awesome figs, check them out. I'll link them too, but they have a brownie. I have not tried this. It's supposed to be like a, a I guess it's, let's see, it's real dates, cocoa, and whole grains. So it's supposed to be like a better for you brownie. I know it's plant-based. So we'll have one of those every night as like a treat after dinner. Moving on to the second day. Now, one of my favorites in the morning is to have like instant coffee. I know, 
But honestly, as much as I'm a snob myself, it's instance is just the easiest way to do it in the morning. So we've just used, used the Starbucks uh, via instance and they've done pretty well. And then to go along with that, another IV, like we talk about for each day. And then in the morning, let's do a Cliff Bar just to kind of get something on my stomach before we get on trail. And this is gonna be the Blueberry Crisp. Love Cliff Bars. And it's, yes, it's a lot of calories, but hey, it's what we need when we're on trail. For lunch that day, we'll be doing the Strawberry Granola. Now, Rex has got one of these too. I have not tried this one either, so I'm excited about this one also. And this will be our lunch for the second day on trail. And then to go with that, this will be like a brunch, I guess before that, I should have said this before. This is the Noka like smoothies. They actually sent these to me to try out, so I'm excited to try them out, see how they are. It's like, a, it's 170 calories for this one. I think this is the strawberry peanut butter. It does not have to stay uh, cool, so I can just quickly squeeze it out on the trail and get some more calories that way too. The same snacks for the afternoon and in between. Got some Welch's snacks, peanut butter, the liquid peanut butter and the stinger. And then for dinner, the second night, doing beef stroganoff with noodles. Uh, this is mine and Rachel's favorite. Also have a spaghetti and meat sauce one. I might trade out for this one, but this has always been an easy one. Everybody knows this one too. And uh, we'll be using this one on trail too. And to finish off that night, another one of the Nature's Bakery brownies. Night number three, let me make sure I'm right. We'll do the same morning routine for Cliff Bars, but we'll have oatmeal, raisin, walnut, and then uh, use the same for your Starbucks coffee. Have another meals to go. This is actually what I'm trying to get rid of. It's not my favorite. It's the spiced caramel apple. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's kind of, I don't like the spice part of it. I do like spicy food, but not a spiced protein bar. It's kind of weird, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it and get use out of it. It's 695 calories. And then another one of these Noka smoothies. And then same afternoon snacks again every day. I know it sounds boring, but I want to say this on the Stinger flavors. We do have a honey flavor. We had to talk about the chocolate on the first one. And then there's a vanilla for the second one. I forgot to mention that just a second ago. And then finishing that night off is another one I've been trying to find forever. And finally, I think they got it back in stock everywhere. It's a chicken pesto pasta from Peak Refuel. I've heard this one's good too. I've not tried this one. So yes, this one's 920 calories for a full pack. So yeah, it's another high calorie meal but I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. And to finish off that night would be another one of the brownies, of course. So as you can tell, I'm a little repetitive, but I try to keep it simple. That way I keep it all organized and know what to grab when and have everything ready. On the final day, we should be done by, I'd say midday to early afternoon. So we'll just do the cliff bars and then do the, I have the IVs and then via for in the morning and then have a smoothie and then some snacks, snacks to get us through. And then that last meal, we're going somewhere to have a burger and fries as we always do at the end of every backpacking trip to celebrate. That will be the end of day number four and we'll be super excited to get some food and possibly a good beer, just wherever we can find food. Where we're going, I'm keeping a cigar right now where we're going, there's definitely some places we can eat when we get done. So I'm really looking forward to it. So guys, that is a three night, four day loadout for me. Rachel's kind of got some of the same stuff. Some things are just different flavors. She also is like almost half my weight, so she does not require the nearly calories I do. She will definitely be carrying hers too. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you leave any questions below. Again, I'll make sure to link as much of this stuff as I can below so you want to check it out yourself. Just wanted to share with y'all what we do for a backpacking trip on a multi-night trip and how I'm going to stuff all this in a bear bag. If you're looking out for a video, I'm actually going to talk about that soon. But I wanted to share with y'all our setup and this is what we would be using. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it below. If you're new here and you're watching this video, we are Southern Hike. We do backpacking videos, hiking videos, tips and trips and tutorials. And I really hope you enjoyed our content. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell below. We do a video every Thursday now. We have changed and we hope you're here to join along and enjoy some of our content. And make sure you comment below if you're new here. We really enjoy to get new subscribers. Guys, again, I hope you have a great week. Hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next week.